Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dan from Fitness Pain Free. I'm a physical therapist. We're helping coaches and clinicians troubleshoot pain and injury in the gym. We're trying to get people out of pain and back to training. In today's video, we're going over modifications for the bench press with shoulder pain, okay? What I'd like to talk about next is modifying the range of motion that you use in your bench press. Oftentimes, if we limit the range of motion, we can automatically decrease some of the pain in the shoulder and allow to someone, excuse me, allow someone to train comfortably, right? So they can keep on working towards their fitness goals, right? And if we choose the right exercise variation, let's say a partial range of motion press, it might be a perfect rehab exercise to help that person get out of pain and back to training, right? So there's a lot of options that you can mess around with, okay? So the first of which, which is super simple, is that you just reduce the range of motion that the barbell travels, right? So if I am setting up for my bench press, like so, I unrack and come all the way down, you can see just how deep the elbows get, right? But if I'm only going through a partial range, let's say I'm doing something like a spoto press here, you can see I'm more at 90 degrees at my elbow and my shoulder. I'm not going quite as deep here, okay? So in certain pathologies, I think the big one is probably going to be some sort of AC joint pathology or shoulder instability, especially anterior instability. Going through that very deep, deep range of motion at the very bottom might be pretty provocative, but if we cut that range of motion, we might be able to train nice and heavy, right? Continue with our sets and reps without having changing much besides just how deep that you go, okay? So the first thing you can try is cut that range of motion, maybe pause here and press back up again. There are a lot of other ways to cut the range of motion as well. So here are some of my favorites. So you can either do a board press, which at least for me was popularized by the late Louis Simmons. You take a two by four and sometimes multiple two by fours, you know, one board press, two board press, three board press, and place this on your chest so that when you're bench pressing, come down, touch the board and press back up again. You can also use a towel. So I'd say a big towel rolled up. So you have a decent amount of space. And this is actually a uh, hip thrust pad and you can also take this and just put that in your shirt so when you go back to bench press you know where you're headed right so I can unrack pretty easily come on down tap the pad press back up again that way I'm nice and consistent with my repetitions from rep to rep and I don't have to guess okay the last way where we can cut the range of motion is by putting pins set up in the rack so we have some pins you can't see them right now but you can put them in the rack let's imagine I have them set to about here and I set them up so when I come down to the bottom of the bench press, the barbell will rest on those pins for a second and then I press them right back up again, all right? So again, you're very consistent from rep to rep. You're always hitting that same height. For folks that have an irritated shoulder, oftentimes all they need to do is eliminate this little bit of range of motion and the top range feels phenomenal and you can train that and get a lot of benefit from that without aggravating the shoulder further, okay? So that's it for today's video, but it's not the end of the learning. If you're a coach and you're a clinician and you want to learn how to troubleshoot pain and injury in the gym, I recommend you click up here and just learn from the next video. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Dan for Fitness Pain Free, and I'll talk to you on the next one.